So, well, I'm here to help you out with some electrochemistry, and uh, today we're going to just look at the distinctions between uh, E naught of a reaction, which describes uh, something about what's going on in a single reaction vessel, and uh, E cell, which describes uh, the potential, the electrical potential associated with a, an electrochemical cell in which half reactions are separated into two, two different locations. So. Just uh, kind of to review this part for you, we've got a solution of copper ions that's kind of probably blue. You did this reaction in, in, in Chem 110. And uh, we've got some solid zinc at the bottom there. And we know what the reaction, the spontaneous reaction is, is that the copper 2 plus grabs some electrons from the zinc. Uh, the copper uh, comes down out as a solution. I've kind of drawn this as a half reaction here. Copper 2 plus grabs some electrons from the zinc to make solid copper. What's happening to the zinc? Well, it's losing its electrons and, uh, and going and uh, becoming zinc 2 plus, which is in the solution. And uh, so if you look up the uh, potentials, the half cell potentials in appendix A6.1, uh, as I've done here, uh, you'll notice, you'll see uh, both of those, and I've written them both uh, as, uh, as reductions, half cell, half reductions. Uh, there's copper grabbing two electrons, that's got uh, an E naught of 0.34. Here's zinc grabbing some electrons, E naught of 0.76. Of course, since in, in, in the actual reaction, uh, it's zinc is being oxidized, we can think of this as going in the opposite direction. So the net ionic uh, reaction would be copper 2 plus grabs two electrons from solid zinc to produce solid copper and zinc 2 plus. E naught of the reaction, we've uh, calculated that in class, but I'll go ahead and do it for you. It must be E naught of the reduction of uh, half reaction minus E naught of the oxidation half reaction. So that will be 0.34 minus a minus 0.76, which of course equals 1.10 volts. And uh, how many electrons trade hands in, in, in this stoichiometry? Well, obviously two, so we would say N equals two. So let's uh, switch over now to uh, what happens if we try to separate each of these half reactions into a separate physical location. That's kind of what's being uh, indicated here. So let me just take you through a, a kind of a tour of this electrochemical cell. Uh, here's, um, here's the half cell, the half cell where the reduction half reaction will take place. And uh, the way that's set up is I've got uh, what we call an electrolyte. Copper 2 plus in that solution, that's just the same as that there. And uh, um, I have a, what we call an electrode, it's this strip of metal, copper metal, sticking into that solution. And it's got a wire coming off to it, and I'll get to that in a minute. Um, now on the other side we have uh, another uh, 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 half cell. That's a strip of zinc sticking into an electrolyte solution containing some zinc 2 plus. Now, uh, what's, uh, what's going to happen, of course, is that zinc is going to get oxidized here. So this solid zinc is going to lose its electrons, and its electrons are going to go up there. And, uh, okay, and so this is where oxidation uh, takes place. And, of course, that's going to be just the reverse of this reaction. I'll go ahead and write that. Zinc solid will go to zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons. Okay, that's the oxidation half reaction, fine. Now we have a special name for the half cell at which oxidation takes place and it's called the anode. So that whole um, uh, apparatus there is called the anode. Now let's see uh, what's going to happen over here is uh, that's where these electrons are going to come down the wire and the electrons will meet up with a copper 2 plus in solution to make some some solid copper, so we'll say copper 2 plus, this is the half reaction, uh, plus a couple of electrons make CuS, okay? And now uh, we have a special name for this half cell at which reduction takes place, and it's called the cathode, C-A-T-H-O-D-E. -E. Okay, so we got the anode, the cathode, a couple more pieces to this. Um, normally, uh, you know, there's various things that we can put here in between the wire that comes off the, uh, the, 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 the anode and then the wire that goes to the, uh, the cathode. In some cases, we like to set up a voltmeter. And I just want to make this uh, sort of graphic for you. Here's a voltmeter. It will measure off uh, with the, you know, a voltage when you hook it up to this uh, electrochemical cell. And uh, 
and a voltmeter always has a red lead and a black lead and it's kind of important that we keep track of this. Here's the voltmeter. Uh, what we normally do is we connect the black lead to the anode and we're going to connect the red lead to the cathode. Okay. Now, if we do it that way, um, then we can write this reaction. The, the, the cell potential, that's, this, that's the reading out here on the dial. Uh, it, uh, we can actually predict what that's going to be. Uh, what is it going to be? It's going to be E naught of the reaction that we've already calculated, okay, 1.10 volts. Now, there's also a correction term. Uh, NC stands for the Nernst correction, but as long as all the concentrations of the electrolytes, copper and zinc, are equal to 1, so if those concentrations of the electrolytes are equal to 1, then it turns out the Nernst correction term goes to zero. So what do we have? We just say, I can predict what the uh, voltmeter is going to read. It's just going to be E naught of the reaction. Okay? So uh, if you want to kind of uh, exercise your, your, your understanding of all of this, um, go ahead and imagine now this whole situation, but instead of zinc, think about having tin. Okay? So we could have pellets of tin here. Uh, there would be uh, another half cell reaction, another E naught value for the tin instead of the zinc. There would be a different net ionic reaction. And uh, instead of having a half cell here with, with zinc, it would be tin. And uh, you could find the E cell. Now, once again, we get to assume that all the electrolyte concentrations are, um, uh, are, are going to be the... Uh, at one molar, which means that the E cell will be E naught of the reaction that you would have calculated based on appendix A6.1. Now, uh, if you uh, just want to check your answer on that, uh, I get 0 0.048 volts uh, when the situation, when the, when the cell is set up that way. Okay.